So what's up everyone? And my name is Julian, so hi. Uh, this is going to be a different art video. You, pre you pretty much saw uh, the thumbnail and the title of this video if you paid good attention to any of those. So I am pretty excited to uh, do this art video here now. Uh, in just a few days, it's going to be my grandmother's birthday, which is on the, on the 19th. I'm going to make a birthday gift this early just to like get her over with and potentially uh, me and my sister are gonna head to her home uh, for her little party now guys I know I have bragged about this a few times in this channel I'm a huge Crayola fan I've been growing up using Crayola products like the the color pencils uh, the crayons, the markers, and any other products that Crayola produces. I will always be a Crayola uh, fanatic until it's that time for me to leave the world. I think for the first time in nearly two years, I believe, we're going to use Crayola crayons, but it's going to be the 64 pack. I would own the 64 pack of Crayola crayons like multiple times i forgot how many times like exactly i used to own like larger uh packs of crayola crayons like the 120 crayons you know the 120 different colors i think the 72 one the 150 one crayola got some big big products with a crap load of colors but we're sticking with a uh, kind of a, a relatively smaller number 64 uh, which is the number my grandmother is gonna reach oops did I just give away my grandmother's age on camera I hope she doesn't kick my booty I hope my grandmother forgives me Big trouble, mister. we're gonna start off using uh, either a sharpie or a Copic marker or both actually to like trace over the pencil marks and then we're gonna get to the fun part getting more colorful using the Crayola crayons here's proof that we're gonna use uh, the 64 pack I'm gonna res restrict myself here once I get through using that color I can't go back to that color I'm gonna have to move on to a different color that's gonna like make the challenge much more serious and a little more fascinating I promise this won't really really suck are you sure about that I know everyone is gonna have different opinions on this challenge and this challenge is pretty much ex uh, inspired I was about to say expired where did I get expired from? What the hell? Uh, inspired. There we go. This challenge is pretty much inspired by this Canadian YouTube artist, Me You. Uh, I think her channel name used to be called Fun To Draw, but she goes by her real name. She did this one painting video a while ago. She uh, using, I think, 100 uh, different colors. I don't think I've ever uh, saw the entire video, but I have seen the, the title and the thumbnail, and that's pretty much it. I think I saw a little bit of it, like towards the end of it. In this video, we're gonna do a drawing of my grandmother and here's the list by the way that i made so once i get through using all of these colors here uh what you're seeing right now guys i could just either cross the colors off or uh add a check mark i don't care how long the drawing will take from start to finish we're gonna take our time that's what really matters so without any further ado let's go ahead and start drawing oh and i i almost forgot I almost forgot to mention this. This art video is going to be commentary free. I know I talk so much. Yes, I uh, agree. During my art videos, you know, you know whenever I um, work on a drawing or a painting, so you don't have to hear my annoying voice as we work on this drawing. Instead, you're going to see the full list of the Crayola crayons that are in the 64 pack. So let's go ahead and get to drawing again.
so, so, so. Okay guys, here's the finished drawing uh, for my grandmother that she's going to soon get. Uh, we have used all of the 64 colors uh, from this box. It feels really good to uh, finish this and I gotta say that challenge was actually really fun to do. But also, it's kind of like a, a puzzle of trying to find the right colors. Uh, to stick with and then like coloring uh, certain uh, objects you know like certain features you know which color should go to this object or to that object I'm gonna go ahead and go through uh, every single detail of this drawing you get this dress here uh, my grandmother's favorite colors are red and black and I think green uh, and red black and green are actually the pan-african flag colors so it, it really makes sense for my grandmother to be in love uh, with these colors we got uh, some wrinkles uh, a couple wrinkles on her face because she does I mean as you get older you're gonna develop wrinkles on your face and you know for your arms legs uh, all over your body over here we got some money this is a really crappy banknote I did. So we got some coins. So my grandmother loves collecting money. My grandmother would pick up um, money, pennies, nickels, quarters, dimes, even uh, dollar bills. She would hastily pick up the money and collect it. I have actually collected money when I was a freshman in high school. I was 14 years old, uh, like during lunchtime or like uh, when I'm walking through the hallways with my my book bag and stuff like that. A few students would laugh at me for collecting money from the ground, you know, the, the coins. I was only trying to be rich, alright? LOL. I would do the same thing what my grandmother would do. Uh, over here, we got uh, the musical symbol, the music symbol, a microphone, a guitar. This could be like a, like a ukulele or acoustic guitar acoustic 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 guitar geez and we got the state of mississippi because that's where my grandmother is from she was actually born 
in Mississippi, the capital city of Jackson. Her husband is actually from Mississippi as well, and she ended up moving to this state, which we're going to get to shortly. So Mississippi, the state of Mississippi, is known for its R&B music and even soul music. I even, I listen to various music genres. This is the uh, state of Illinois, where I was born in. I, I actually live in this state uh, as of right now, nearly in my entire life, so my grandmother currently resides in this state, uh, the state that I really care about the most. The family members I live with were also born in this state. My grandmother uh, ended up having my mom. My mom ended up having me, uh, my sister and my brother, and my other sister that doesn't live with me. We got the Willis Tower, which is the tallest structure in the state of Illinois, one of the tallest buildings in America and in the world. Me, my grandmother, and my sister actually went to the Willis Tower, but not all the way to the top, uh, because we didn't, uh, if I remember correctly, if I can recall here, like back in, during the summer of 2010, we were supposed to go up uh, to the Willis Tower just like check out the impressive views. We didn't have enough money so we ended up heading to a nearby McDonald's and we uh, chat and had some food. So I don't know if I'll actually go up because I am afraid of heights. It's called acrophobia, a fear of heights, and my grandmother is also, also afraid of heights. This bean shaped uh, thing here is uh, a popular landmark in the city of Chicago. It's called Cloud Gate. It is a giant mirror that's the shape of a bean. But up here, we got the radio speaker because my grandmother loves partying. She is a people person, um, unlike me. We, got, we also got the party hat, the party cup, and some balloons. Over here, we got the, uh, the soap, uh, the bubbles, and a sponge because my grandmother is very tidy. She loves cleaning. I'm kind of a messy person, <laughs> relatively. My grandmother, on the other hand, loves cleaning. She is really a clean person. She cleans her butt off. Trust and believe me. I mean, I really don't have proof. I can't really share any, like, evidence. Over here we got uh, a cigarette. My grandmother enjoys smoking. I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. Over here we get uh, this uh, alcoholic dr uh, beverage or liquor and we got like a cocktail glass. My grandmother loves to drink. Her favorite uh, alcoholic beverage is Hennessy which is like a, a whiskey brand. Drinking is not my thing. I would rather drink water, sparkling water, smoothies. I kind of I kind of want to have a relatively healthy life, but also an unhealthy life since I love eating desserts and I got a, a very terrible sweet tooth. Over here we got the uh, saucepan and this wooden spoon. My grandmother really adores cooking, just like me. I'm an occasional cooker, so I don't cook every day. Maybe almost every day I do cook. Uh, very simple dishes. I am kind of different from my grandmother uh, sh since she cooks way more than me. Uh, obviously she's more experienced than I am. Maybe one day I'll reach uh, her level of cooking numerous dishes if I have the energy to do so, you know. And she also got some lovely uh, makeup, almost like a magenta color. Whenever she goes somewhere special, like a funeral, she would wear uh, some makeup, uh, earrings and jewelry, you know, uh, just to improve her fashion. Uh, last but not least, we got a slot machine. Since my grandmother is into the lottery, using the scratch-off tickets to see how much money she's going to end up winning. She also plays, I think, poker. Uh, she has been to Las Vegas before, and I really envy her. I wish I could head there one day, but I, I don't know. There's too many interesting places around the world. My grandmother's is uh, also into gambling. She does uh, hop onto the slot machines. I hope I'm not really sharing her personal life a little too much. If I am sharing her personal life a little too much, I do apologize. I would like to apologize to my 
uh, grandmother. These are literally what she does uh, for her life. I forgot to include uh, one other thing and that is maybe like adding maybe like a, a concession stand because she does uh, run a small store in front of her home just to make money that way and to handle her bills which is really I would say clever yeah clever and brilliant I had some people in the past uh, telling me that I should start a business since uh, they've been uh, seeing my artwork, I just don't have the sparks to do so. To start a business and start building up my wealth? I don't know. Like, I I'm really lost. I think this drawing looks really good. I know it looks too cartoony or cartoonish. I did my best. I took my time. I spent hours tracing over the pencil marks and then using uh, the different colors of the crayons. The 64 count a box of Crayola crayons one by one. I don't know if I'm gonna really do this challenge again uh, one day but this was one hell of an interesting challenge and I honestly missed uh, using Crayola crayons to produce uh, masterpieces like this and I do wish my grandmother an early happy birthday I think I'm one of the first few people if not maybe the first one uh, to wish her an early happy birthday I feel like I'm one of the first few people there's no way I'm like actually very very first but I hope she likes it so that is gonna be the end of this art video stay tuned for more content guys and I hope this art video is quite enjoyable to watch I hope you guys enjoy your weekend also enjoy Enjoy your St. Paddy's Day weekend. This is, it's not just the weekend, it's the St. Patrick's Day weekend.